Riding the Wave is awesome. This is the 29th episode of the first season of Postcards from Buster and this is in Cocoa Beach, Florida. And I kind of assumed this would have some kind of surfing angle to it and it really does. Buster meets these children who are big into surfing and we learn a lot about how to surf. But what I found the most interesting was how they practice when they're away from the waves. And I'll talk about that at the mo uh, in a moment. Obviously, a lot of this is, in fact, pretty much all of it is outdoors, apart from a little bit of it on the inside. Um, we get to see a surfboard being made, which is obviously done indoors, and it looks really awesome. And honestly, I've never had any interest in surfing before. I'm not, I don't like being in the water, but I watched this and thought, I really want to do a surfing lesson. And I think I might have just added it to my bucket list. I don't want to, you know, become a pro surfer or anything. That would never happen. I hate water. But I actually feel like, Having a surfing lesson and getting on a board and just being at the water just once in my life would be a really wonderful experience. So thank you to Postcards from Buster for inspiring me to add that kind of loosely to my list. I do live actually near a beach, so it's not impossible, but we'll see how long that takes me. But the point is, it was a really inspiring episode. The kids he meet um, are really great and very talented, um, Forest and Coral, and... We don't learn too much about the history of Cocoa Beach, although we do get to see a little bit of history about it, but it is mostly about surfing. So if you have zero interest in that, which to be honest, I thought I would have no interest in it, it may not be the most interesting, but it's so well done and so well shot. There are a couple of shots in particular that I loved, which I'll talk about in a moment. But when I said I love learning about their practicing techniques, we get to learn some pretty clever things they do when they're away from from the beach, um, one of which is a skateboard tied to a rope. It's a skateboard swing and it looks terrifying, but it looks like a really, a really clever way of learning to balance or practicing your balancing. And the other one is they've got this massive trampoline. It's the biggest like at home trampoline I've ever seen. And they use a soft boogie board on there to practice um, you know, balancing and, and doing tricks and things. And I just thought that was really awesome. And true dedication to their sport as well. There are two bits in particular that I thought were really well filmed. Um, the first one is when Buster is on the trampoline. He does a trick and the camera, obviously, he does a flip and the camera flips with him. And it's just so well done. It's so realistic. that It's, it's so easy to forget that it's not actually Buster behind that camera. The other one is when they were having an indoor lesson on how to stand up on the surfboard. And again, Buster was filming that as he was practicing it. And just the camera angles from when he was lying down to then standing up and the angle of the camera as it moved with him or in theory with him. It was just so well done. Really impressive. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. We also get quite a bit of Arthur and Francine and Muffy. So it's a really brilliant, well-rounded, informative and inspiring episode of Postcards from Buster. Yeah, I would have liked a bit more history, a little bit more information about the non-surfing aspect of life at Cocoa Beach, but I get the impression that if you live at Cocoa Beach, it is a big part of your life. So maybe it's somewhere I'll go to one day. I don't know. Florida's very hot and I'm very pale, but maybe one day. Riding the wave was definitely really enjoyable.